This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. A man charged in a Mount Healthy murder stood before a judge Saturday. Chavantes Layson was arrested by the Hamilton County Fugitive Warrant Section and appeared in court this weekend. He's accused of shooting and killing Quentin Dews in Mount Healthy last year. Family of Dews says he was holding his eight-month-old granddaughter moments before the shooting on even Crest Drive. Layson's being held tonight or this weekend on $1 million bond. Breakthrough COVID-19 test results led the Aronoff Center to shut down a production Saturday. The 8 p.m. show of Disney's Frozen was canceled just minutes before it was set to take stage. Officials say all tickets will be refunded and the show's will return Sunday afternoon. The University of Cincinnati is celebrating a record setting spring commencement this weekend. UC recognized 7,080 grads over the course of Friday and Saturday. That is a record. The university also recognized a record more than 1,200 first generation college graduates and a record number of online degrees at 894. Speaking of UC, the record for most Bearcats players taken in one NFL draft was six until this weekend. They almost matched that number Saturday alone. Nine UC players were drafted over the weekend, four of them on Saturday. But Saturday was a mystery for the Bengals for the first two days. They stuck to defensive picks. Their pick, their first pick of the day Saturday in the fourth round was an offensive lineman. After that, it was back to defense. The Bengals added a safety and a D lineman. That means five of six draft picks this season are defensive players. And here's meteorologist Brandon Spinner with a look at that important flying pig marathon forecast. Brandon. That's right, Evan. We'll be dealing with a chance at some showers for the marathon as we've got a threat for strong and severe thunderstorms for early morning hours on Sunday. As you roll throughout Sunday morning, showers will be with us and they could be strong at times. Gusty winds the main threat here, but some large hail can't be ruled out either. Wind out of the south and east up to 10 miles per hour. That'll pick up out of the southwest throughout the day on Sunday. Thunderstorms early, then clearing for the afternoon. The afternoon looking great, but it will be wet at times. For the morning, we are looking at a high of 75.